There's a lot of things that can hold someone back from growing their detailing business. So in this short video, I'll kind of break down the mindset shift that you have to make from when you started your business to actually starting your business and the difference between the two. So let's get into it. People don't like me saying this, but if you're starting your detailing business, right, and you, and you really wanna focus and make money, you can't be so focused just on detailing in itself. You can't carry over the technician mentality or the, the, the hobbyist mentality from when you're doing it on the weekend, on your personal vehicles, as a therapeutic, relaxing kind of session versus I want to make money from this. I wanna go full time with this. I want to provide for my family and myself and my lifestyle with this. You just can't carry over that mentality of like, I wanna take my time on every vehicle, everything's gonna be perfect. I'll go after every swirl and scratch and imperfection. I'll clean every stain and blemish in the interior. The only way you can go about that type of service and work is if they're paying, if the customer is paying for that level of quality. So a big problem that I see a lot of times that's holding a lot of de detailers back is that they, they solely focus on, well, I'm, I'm, why can't I get more customers? I'm, I'm not making money. Yet your focus, where a lot of your attention and energy is spent on is watching YouTube videos about detailing, reading on, forums and Facebook groups about detailing, researching more tools and products, yet you're completely disregarding what? The marketing, the advertising, the sales, the growth, the expansion, the operation side, right? So if you keep that mentality of, I just wanna be a detailer and I just wanna work on cars, you are going to limit your potential because that is just one small piece of the puzzle in order to actually run and grow a detailing business. Any person in any industry of any service, if you're a dentist and you wanna open up your own practice, you can no longer focus on just being a dentist, right? You have to be an owner, of a practice that needs to grow. And this is the same for lawyers, right? A lawyer that goes to school for four or five years, spends whatever, 60, 80, $100,000 in tuition, right? Once they pass that bar exam and they wanna go open up their own firm, guess what? They're no longer just a lawyer. They have to be a business owner that runs a law firm to go get clients. I don't care in what field you are, once you start your own business, you step aside from being the main thing that you wanted to do and you have to focus on being a business owner. You have to know sales, you have to know marketing, you have to know operations, you have to know to hire you have to know customer service. It's not just about the one thing that you wanted to do. And it's kind of backwards because obviously you start your business because you're, you're passionate or, or love this specific thing. But once you, you know, make that switch in your head, say, hey, I want to actually do this as a business. It's no longer that thing. It's no, so right now, if you're doing this as, as, as a hobbyist, as on the weekend, right? You're like, okay, 80% of my time and energy is spent on pain correction, on interior cleaning. But once you make that switch and say, okay, I want to do this as a business and I eventually want to go full time. That 80% that you're focusing on pain correction interior detailing needs to shrink down to about 30%. The other 70% needs to be focused on everything else that has nothing to do with detailing. That's what, do you know how to create a website? Do you know how to optimize a website for a search engine optimization? Do you know how to market yourself on Instagram, post reels, post carousels, take photos? Do you know how to answer the phone? Do you know how to do the basic bookkeeping? Do you know how to go get customers? Do you know how to, you know, like there's so many other things now that you have to focus on that has absolutely zero things to do with detailing. And again, it goes the same thing with head groomers, chiropractors, uh, dentists, uh, lawyers, uh, accountants. Once you start a firm, a practice, a business, it's no longer just about that one thing you wanted to do. So hopefully this video helps someone out because it's just, that's a big mistake. Then again, not just detailers, but across the world, everyone makes. Because I used to work at several agencies and it, it'd be the same thing, right? That, that's why I say, I can say with complete certainty that a lawyer, that a dentist, that an accountant, that a chiropractor that goes to school, spends money on tuition, is, you know, a specialist in their field. But once they say, hey, I want to open up my own, my own practice, my own firm, my own business, it's a completely different ballgame. Everyone goes through the same struggle. So you and your little situation is not something unique or special to you. Everyone has competition. Everyone has obstacles. Everyone has problems. And th those that actually continue to grow and to get more clients or patients or, or, or customers and continue to expand and make more money, they're focusing or have someone, maybe a partner, that focuses on the business development and the operation. So I'll end it right here. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that and I'll see you guys on the next one.